Hey everyone, welcome back to Brain Muffin at the Movies, the most popular current segment on this channel. And here we have from CBR.com, Marvel's Darth Vader features a first time meeting we never expected to see. Expected to see. Uh, this is major spoiler, so you are warned right now, and let's go. As Darth Vader wraps up, the Marvel Comics series is uh, revealing fallen Jedi Anakin Skywalker's worst nightmares. After entering the life afterlife through a Sith portal, Vader searches for something he's longed to possess since his fall to the dark side. However, he to get there, Darth Vader number 25 sees the character literally facing his old demons as he fights off the Jedi phantoms that have haunted him since his betrayal. Eventually, he cuts a path through the object of his desire, his dead wife, Padme Amidala. Finding uh, Padme has been Vader's main ambition ever since her death, giving birth to Luke and Leia in Revenge of the Sith. While becoming Emperor Palpatine, while becoming Emperor Palpatine's apprentice scrubbed most of his humanity, his love for Padme has lingered, and his part uh, has driven him to restore order to the galaxy, albeit via an iron fist. And I uh, should we say too that maybe it helps him um, with his with his son. Uh, the desire to lead the creation of his uh, obsidian castle of Mustafar, where he was able to create this portal with the help of Sith uh, architect Momin, Momin who be, uh, later betrayed him. Please, we have to go. No, I don't know. Luke Skywalker is dead. No. Oh, well, I guess that, that didn't happen in the movie. Vader wants to restore Padme to life, a power that Emperor Palpatine uh, told him a true Sith could unlock once fully devoting himself to the dark side. This was secret of Palpatine's master, Darth Plagueis, eventually learned. Apparently learned, and Vader looks to have perfected the skill as he kills off his past and makes his way to Padme. Sadly, Padme is ghost brought by the forced location in which they last interacted. Uh, what's nothing to do with the tre treacherous Jedi. Uh, Vader takes uh, the form of Anakin once more, but Padme throws herself off a balcony, choking uh, herself while red lightning, indicative of the Sith, destroys her. The act is tremendously symbolic as before she commits the spiritual suicide. She compares Annie to a beautiful angel just like he did uh, her in The Phantom Menace. Oh, and the dogs are going nuts. As you can hear. Um, Padme reminds Vader that uh, we didn't just portray the Jedi. She also spat on their love and is undeserving of her. It is at this moment when her ghost rejects what he's become, uh, what he's become the man she truly, uh, as she, uh, he was truly dies. So that's pretty interesting. The lightning, she falls to her death as a ghost. Of course, Vader doesn't know about his son at this point. All he knows is that Padme uh, died thinking he was a villain. And now that's uh, his reunited with her. He, she's still, she's still on his mind set and hates for him. Hates him for it. It's not a breath, uh, heartbreaking moment because it uh, feels Vader getting in his co up and comments for all the blood he has spilled in the name of a love. Um, those actions have been about bringing her back. Wait a minute. I'm, did I miss something? Wraps up the series after entering the life uh, afterlife through a Sith portal. He's been a uh, fallen Jedi okay, for something he's longed to possess since the fall to the dark side. So, okay, so he opens a portal to the afterlife as a as as himself. Well, that's weird. I thought this was after he died. Eh, okay. Um, as, I mean, that's what it's saying, right? Am I missing? I mean, I feel like I'm missing something completely. After entering the afterlife through a Sith portal, Vader searches for something he longed to possess since his fall to the dark side. Okay, so I guess this happens before the first Star Wars, I guess is when this is supposed to happen, before episode four. Okay, all right, so yeah, that's what I missed. I thought he was dying. I thought this was his post, you know, his force ghost. Um, but yeah, those those legs look sexier in Manly Portman, although kind of skinny around the knees. All right, so what do you think of this? Do you think this is kind of dumb? I know Marvel's kind of owning Star Wars, and they did this in the comics and stuff like this. To me, this is a, is a mistreatment of the character. Um, I mean, here he showed him battered and beating. At, and, and I don't know, maybe this is his full push to the dark side uh, when his, um, his beloved won't even have anything to do with him after her death. And she tries to, you know, he tries to resurrect her, and she wants nothing to do with him. Uh, perhaps but uh, to me this is just kind of trying to rehash old ground what disney does best all right thanks so much for stopping by thanks for subscribing thanks for sharing and we will see you goodbye
uh, okay. Um, I don't know, but this will be interesting. Cool. All right. Thank you very much. Yep. Uh, okay. I will turn up the better. All right. Thank you very much. Let's get started. One, two, and three. <laughs> 